In this video, I am going to show you how to analyze a measurement tool linearity using JMP software. First of all, what is linearity? Linearity is a plot of bias over a range of measurement. If a tool's bias drifting higher and higher, the bias chart will increase over the range. Then we can say that this tool have linearity issue. They are some misinterpretation of linearity issue. If the tool don't have linearity issue, we cannot say that the tool don't have bias issue. We need to look at the chart to interpret. For example, a tool may have the same bias value over the range. And that is a issue. To analyze a measurement tool linearity, you can use the same data from the bias analysis. If you have not viewed the video of the bias analysis using JMP, I suggest you stop the video here and head over to watch the bias analysis using JMP video. After completed the bias analysis, go to the small red triangle next to variability gauge header. Click on it and select gauge studies and select linearity report. A small window will pop up for you to enter the historical K sigma. Enter 6. And this is the linearity report. In JMP, the conclusion of whether the measurement tool have linearity issue is by proofing the chart slope. If the chart slope is genuine then the tool have linearity issue. Look at the probability t for the slope. If it is less than 0.05 then it will be red. If it is red then gauge have linearity issue. You can estimate your measurement tool's error for weight beyond the standard weight. For example, if you want to estimate the tool's error at 35 kilograms, which is not one of the reference weight, you can use the formula. Based on the formula, the tool error at 35 kg is 4.24 kg higher than actual. Just take note that this is only an estimation. If the R squared value is high or close to max value of 1, then the estimation can be quite close. Do not use estimation if R square value is lower than 0.5. That's all for linearity analysis using JMP.